Should you perform your holistic health or beauty services on trade? This is a question that comes up fairly often for both new and seasoned practitioners. And I'm gonna answer it in today's episode of the Holistic Pro Show. Jaya Savannah here, strategy coach for holistic businesses. So I'm not talking about the kind of trades you might do with a colleague or coworker where you're both working in the same business and you're trading tit for tat on you know, basic services. That usually works out just fine. Um, what I'm talking about are when you want to do trades with people who are outside your area of expertise, right? So either, you know, you have have something you want to have done and so instead of paying them you offer a trade or they come to you you have something that they want to have done and they don't want to pay and have a trade and for the most part these don't work out well for people I mean I see a few people that can pull it off but I would say for the vast majority of us healer types it's fraught with boundary issues and I really advise you to not do them. Now, let me give you some examples of why. Number one, the big issue has to do with money. All right, think about it. If you are already having some issues where you don't have enough money and you're tempted to want to do a trade, you know, it's one thing to say, well, I need these services and I'll trade in order to get them. But you're really also sending a mixed message to the universe. On the one hand, you're saying, I don't have any money. And you're reinforcing that message. I don't have money. You're even telling someone else, I don't have money. And then you're also, though, not accepting money. You're also saying, well, I also don't deserve money. This person wouldn't pay me money. I'll just take trade. Well, you know what? You can't live on trade. Your landlord doesn't do it. PG&E doesn't do it. And you know, none of your other bills will do it either. That's why they invented money. So if you have any kind of money issues around lack, scarcity, self-worth, okay, any hot button emotions related to money, I think trades should be off limits for you. You need to get used to dealing with money. Now, the other issues generally fall somewhere in the category of boundary issues. And the first one that I see also ties in with money, and that is, um, do you decide to do the trade based on dollar value or on time? So let me give you an example. Let's say your services normally bill at $120 an hour and the other person in the trade usually bills at 60, okay? So you're making double what they do when it comes to cash. So what do you do when it comes time to trade? You know, do you bill, um, do it at the billing rate where you're, you know, doing one hour's worth of work and they do two in the trade? Or are you just trading even Steven on time? Well, almost always, these things end up defaulting to trading on time because the person who makes more money doesn't want to speak up and demand that they get paid their usual rate even in the trade. And you know, honestly, it's just really not that fair. If you're the person making more money, look at it this way. You're already lowering your abundance level to say that you're willing to work on trade and not take the money. And then you're taking a double hit by saying, not only am I not worth getting paid cash, but I'm willing to work for less than my usual rate. You're sending a double negative um, message out to the universe about your money. And I don't think that that's a good thing to do. If you wanna do charity and give someone a service for free, I think that's better than doing an uneven trade, all right? Now, the other areas where boundaries often go wrong have to do with um, the ability to give someone constructive feedback. So when you hire a service provider and um, you need to criticize the work, you know, give some constructive feedback, make requests, ask for something, you know, to get your needs met. When you're paying cash, you feel more entitled to that right, which you should have. It's not a false entitlement. You should have that. But trades start to become a little bit iffy, right? People are afraid to speak up for themselves. When you're paying cash, if someone um, does substandard work, or maybe it, you just don't like them, maybe it's a personal services and their, and their energy feels bad to you. Maybe they talk about their problems the whole time. Maybe you just feel drained after being with them. You know, whatever it is, if you pay someone and you have a bad experience, hey, guess what? You can walk away and be done after that one bad experience. But when it's a trade, what do you do? Do you book another appointment because you've got to deliver your part of the trade or you know receive your part of the trade? Well, it's really awkward when you have a bad experience and you're stuck in a trade agreement that means at least two appointments with each other. 
Now, the other area where um, trade boundaries often go wrong just is right from the get-go in that um, someone might be approaching you with a trade and you don't know how to say no, right? They might even come to you directly telling you that they don't have enough money and, and they'll always butter you up and tell you how great you are and, and how much they really value your work, but I just can't pay you. And you know, if you're an empathetic sort, that can be very awkward and you might be tempted to do the trade even though you know everything I've said to you today usually applies to you. And you have that feeling of not being able to say no. You know what I'm talking about. If that is you, here is what I want you to do. From this moment forward, I want you to implement a no trade policy, okay? I've had to do this for myself years ago when I realized these things were just always awkward for me. So if you just have a no trade policy, there's no problem with saying no, okay? All you've gotta do when someone asks, you know, can we trade services, is you can just tell them, I'm sorry, but I have a no trade policy in place. And that's really all you have to say. If you feel like you need to elaborate a little bit more, maybe you're afraid of hurting their feelings, then tell them that it's your issue. That's what I do. I'm sorry, I don't do trades because I find they just don't work out well for me. Leave it at that. It's all about your issue, not about them, but you have stopped the leak of the problems that are caused by trades. All right, so what do you think? Tell me, do you have issues with boundaries and trades? Do they work well for you, not work well for you? Are you willing to take the no trade policy stand starting today? I wanna hear about it in the comments section below this video. I'll be there reading and responding and I look forward to seeing you there too. And I'll see you in my next video.